Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. And thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Wednesday, January 10th. It's the first week after the Epiphany and week one in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 119, verse 1 to 24. And John chapter 1, verse 35 to 42. And now join me, please, in singing verse 7 of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. God, you have proved our suffering souls to make our graces shine. So silver bears the burning coals, the metal to refine. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, blessed are the undefiled who walk in the way of the Most High. Hallelujah. Psalm 119, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, blessed are the undefiled who walk in the way of the Most High. Blessed are they that keep your decrees and seek you with their whole heart. They do no evil, but walk in your ways. You have laid down your precepts to be followed diligently. Oh, that my steps were firm in the way of your statutes, that I shall not be ashamed when I heed your commandments. I praise you with an upright heart. As I learn your righteous judgments, I will keep your statutes. Do not forsake me. How shall the young remain sinless by taking heed of your word? With my whole heart I sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commands. Your word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Most High. Teach me your statutes. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced to do your will as if all riches were mine. I will meditate in your precepts and have respect for your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Be generous with me that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may behold the wonders of your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commands from me. My soul breaks longing for your judgments. You have rebuked the proud who stray from your commands. Remove from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept your decrees. Rulers plot against me, but I meditate in your statutes. Your will is my delight, and your laws are my counselors. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, blessed are the undefiled who walk in the way of the Most High. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 1, beginning at verse 35. The next day John again was standing with two of his disciples. And as he watched Jesus walk by, he exclaimed, Look, here is the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. And when Jesus turned and saw them following, he said to them, What are you looking for? And they said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? And he said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying, and they remained with him that day. It was about four o'clock in the afternoon. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated anointed. And he brought Simon to Jesus, who looked at him and said, You are Simon, son of John. You are to be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today, 
and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, guide us in your ways, that we may remain unstained by the world. May we ever seek you and sing your praises. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.